All right, good evening, my friends. The topic is nutrition tonight. A raw vegan, quote, influencer dies of starvation. Yes, the pattern of veganism is undefeated. You cannot stay vegan for very long, or you will indeed starve to death. Because the vegan diet, while they claim it's the perfect diet, no, it's far from it. It is very nutrient lacking, my friends. So, uh, it, this is odd. This is her... This, this bitch is 39 years old. Look at how old this chick looks, man. She looks like she's 50. I'm not going to subject you to this AIDS, but this is avocado kefir. If you're craving kefir, drink kefir. And then cherry tomatoes and avocados. Now, avocados do provide some healthy fats, but that's about it. There's nothing really nutritional in this uh, at all. So, Gateway Pundit is claiming this person has a million followers or a million views or a million something. I can't see it. I don't know if they are scrubbing Social Blade and they scrubbed the internet archives from everything that this bitch did. TikTok doesn't have much in it. There's a bunch of people dunking on her now in TikTok. It's hashtag plant-based meals. So, uh, you know, filters and makeup can do wonders, but this is what it looks like pretty much as is, my friends. Her teeth are all jacked up, her hair is all jacked up, her eyes are sunken in. Uh, and if you look at this picture, she is just literally skin and bones. So why? Why can't you survive being vegan for very long? Because you usually will be lacking vitamin B12. Heme iron, I know people say it's bullshit, like a pound of kale or a cup of kale has as much iron as a cup or eight ounces of beef. Well, guess what? How much of that is bioabsorbable? The answer is not much, because vegetables do not want to be eaten, my friends. So they contain a lot of anti-nutrients here. So Zana Samsonova, a well-known raw vegan influencer living in Malaysia, the profile says, my favorite city in the world, fuck it, Thailand. I know it's not pronounced that, but... Uh, <laughs> Living in Malaysia died last Friday after eating only exotic fruits for an extended period of time. A fruitarian, my friends. People say that fruits and vegetables are nutritious. No, they are not. Most fruits are a little bit of vitamins, like vitamin C, but it's mostly fiber and mostly sugar. So, a vegan is a person that does not eat food derived from animals, and raw vegan only eats raw or foods heated at temperatures below 118 degrees. The, what's sad about this is this is a tragic story. I know we're kind of dunking on her because she thinks that she's doing the right thing. Uh, if she would have eaten just a chicken egg every week, she would probably still be alive today. But only yeah, died of starvation. That's that's sad in 2023 that people are willingly starving themselves to death and thinking they're doing something good. So, and being an influencer to millions of people, allegedly, I start to disbelieve that. So he's reportedly died of starvation after subsisting exclusively on exotic fruit in Malaysia. Yeah, there's no iron in fruit. There's no vitamin D in fruit. There's no uh, heme iron in fruit. There's no vitamin B12. There's no amino acids. No protein. Uh, her friend... Okay, she was 39 years old. Bitch looks 50. I know. I shouldn't make fun of anyone's appearances because I am butt ugly. The Russian national who frequently promoted raw foods on social media where she was known to her millions of viewers on TikTok. Here's her TikTok. Not seeing it. Five, 53 following. Again, they could have blasted this. And... The ultimate irony is to avoid her getting dunked on, blasting her her content. Uh, all of the things she created has basically been destroyed. I'm sorry, she's she's got 264 followers. So again, they could have scrubbed this, and all the content she created is gone. It's, it, it appears. So she's also gone Instagram and only has... Uh, 9,000 followers. She may have a ton of views. I don't know. I don't like Instagram. I don't use Instagram. I think Instagram's kind of stupid. But in there, Facebook is 4.3k friends. It's way more than I've got. But alas, Social Blade is acting really bizarre when you search for them. But then again, I don't usually search for Instagram or Facebook bullshit because I don't care. So, she promoted raw foods on social media where she was known to her millions of followers. And TikTok have scrubbed it. Instagram is Zana Dart, D-Art. 
who died July 21st, that are finally seeking medical treatment during a tour in Southeast Asia, according to local media outlet t- reports. And again, in end-stage veganism, it, it, it's they all follow the same pattern. They, you know, switch to ashwagandha, like that's going to help. But all they need to do is either eat salmon, shrimp, or eggs. Uh, shrimp don't have... <laughs> Pain. Shrimp don't feel pain, my friends. A few months ago in Sri Lanka, she already looked exhausted with swollen legs, oozing lymph. That's disgusting. An unidentified friend told Newsflash they sent her home to seek treatment. However, she ran away again. When I saw her in Phuket, I was horrified. Her friend added, I lived one floor above her, and every day I feared finding her lifeless body. In the morning, I convinced her to seek treatment, but she didn't make it. Because, again, they have some, some sort of concern about, you know, farming being evil and uh, animal husbandry being evil. It's just the natural, <laughs> just the natural thing, my friends. Samsonova's mother attributed her daughter's passing to a cholera-like infection. That's some cope. However, her official cause of death has not been declared. And the anti-Christian vegan movement has gained popularity in recent years. You know, you can do it. At first, it'll feel good. But eventually... You ain't gonna make it, so you need to eat. You either cheat, or you die. Those are your really only choices. The vegan diet, especially raw veganism, is spreading like a wild wildfire because of dumbass influencers are pushing this lifestyle on social media. Now, usually they're young, usually they're pretty, usually they use a lot of filters and they use a lot of makeup. And again, at first it'll feel good, but then the problems are going to start, and probably B12 is the biggest problem, and the lack of protein. Some vegans eat rice and beans, that'll help extend the, the, the lifestyle, but if you go fruitarian, you're done. Uh, Cape Coral Mother was, re- well, it'll, you're done eventually. A Cape Coral Mother was recently found guilty of starving her 18-month-old son to death after she fed him only raw fruits and vegetables. Man, that's going to be a rough one to survive in prison, uh, but... You know, could have told you, babies drink uh, milk, (laughs) cow's milk, not fucking oat milk. So that's, (laughs) it's a tragedy, but completely uh, inflicted upon oneself. Oof, yeah, that's, I mean, if you get turned on by looking at a pencil, I mean, you know, that's all you, but mm, not me. So that's that. That's all we're going to (laughs) do. Thanks for watching. Eat a steak and pick up some non-perishable food, and God bless.